find the missing number. Four plus blank equals seven. In this particular problem, we want to find what number when added to four equals seven. One of the ways we can find a solution to this problem is by subtracting seven minus four equals three. Therefore, four plus three equals seven. Another way is to think of what number in your head when you add it to four. What number when added to four equals seven? The answer is three. Four plus three equals seven. This lesson can also be extended. Four plus box equals seven. In doing the number of facts, we would still subtract to find what number when placed in the box and add it to four would equal seven. Box would therefore equal seven minus four. Box equal to three. Therefore, three when placed in the box equals added to four. When added to four equals seven. This problem can also be extended to algebra facts, although at this time you're not required to learn algebra facts. Four plus x equal to seven, where x represent the box or the blank, or x represent a number. What number will replace with the x equal to, added, and added to four equals seven? x would equal to seven minus four, x equal to three. Again, this is an algebraic problem that relates to the problem four plus blank equals seven. Blank minus three equals four. In this problem, we're looking for what number when taken away from three equals four. One way to arrive at the solution is to add blank equal to four plus three. So blank would equal to seven. We can extend this lesson by adding a box. What number will replace when the box and taken away from three equals four? Box would equal to four plus three. Box equals seven. And also in this same lesson, we can use an X to represent the box and the blank. X, which represent the box the blank are an unknown number. X minus three equals four. X equals four plus three. X equals seven. Therefore, the solution to this particular problem is seven minus three equals four. This is a balancing scale. We have a problem on the board. Three plus blank equals nine. I have nine batteries in here, three batteries over here. And this is the middle. This is the fulcrum or equivalent to the equal sign. How many batteries do I have to place in this side of the scale to make this scale equal? One, two, Three, four, five, six. As you can see, to balance the scale with nine on this side, three over here, I needed to add six. So three plus six equals nine. Let's do the math. Three plus six is nine equals nine. Now let's do another problem. I'm going to take some of the batteries out of here and we'll create another problem. I'm going to leave three on this side, three batteries. Nine minus what equals three? We have nine batteries on this side, three batteries on this side, equals. So how many batteries do I have to take out of here for these two sides to be equal? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see, we had nine batteries over here and three in this side. We had to remove six batteries for this balancing scale to be equal. Let's do the problem on the board. Nine minus six. Nine minus six equals three equals three. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.